I have uh, several expectations actually for uh, this ride trip. We, uh, we tried this about two years ago and uh, it was very, very successful. We were able to get people together that are, are part of the whole process uh, that leads up to a successful tow. Our intent is to, uh, to get a cross-functional team together, people that are all part of the process that lead up to a successful uh, rental for our customers. We have marketing people, we have engineering, design, development, manufacturing, people who service our vehicles in the field, and we also have a sophisticated process for matching the tow vehicle to our, um, our trailers. We have to make sure that uh, we stay on, on top of what's happening in the automotive landscape. As you can see behind me here, cars generally are getting lighter, smaller for uh, fuel economy issues. On the other hand, trucks are tending to get uh, bigger and, and more capable. So we have to make sure our, our trailers can accommodate both. What we uh, try to do here is to make sure that we evaluate combinations that we allow our customers to experience. We ballast the, the trailers at, at their maximum capacity. So we'll evaluate them to make sure that the vehicles uh, are capable of, of uh, towing these trailers under a wide variety of conditions. Luckily in Arizona, we, uh, we've got geography that is just in incredible. We have desert landscape, we have mountainous conditions, we have lakes. So our route will take us past all those. We'll do some climbing. We have a lot of curves, which is very important for us to evaluate uh, while we're pulling trailers. Our um, hookup process specifies the maximum allowable load that these vehicles can, can tow, and it's a very sophisticated process. So on this trip, we load our trailers to the maximum allowable for the customer. So we always try to uh, evaluate what we allow. And this is a good validation to make sure that we all agree that it's the right thing to do. So we spend a lot of time making sure that the, the loading's correct, that the load balance is correct, so when we go out on the road, we can experience uh, some of the extremes that we allow our customers to, uh, to experience. We don't want to restrict what, what our customers want to do. But we do want to give them advisements. We modified our user instructions so that uh, we, we warned people that in high temperatures or extreme grades, they slow down a little bit. I call it shared responsibility. Once we release a trailer to our customers, we want to make sure that they also know what they need to do to make sure they have a successful tow. So our user instructions are very important. Our route is uh, very well documented. We have elevation conditions so that if we have anything that we, we want to highlight, we can go back and determine what the grades were, what the elevation was, uh, what the length of the grade was, so we can go back and research uh, further if, if we have incidents. I have no idea what what will happen on this uh, trip other than the fact we want it to be a, a safe evaluation. We uh, put a lot of thought into not only who comes on the trip, but what section they will be driving based on what their function is in the company. We've also put a lot of thought into matching our participants. Our legal people who need to support our product will be matched on, on the trip with other people that, that share a common uh, interest and desire. So behind the scenes, there's a lot of homework that goes into this and uh, hopefully they'll be able to uh, discuss issues that as they happen, if they occur. Um, I always say this is not a test trip, it's an evaluation trip. Everybody got it? Yep. Excited. Okay. Uh, the fit, it actually rode really nicely. I think the added weight probably helps the ride in this uh, particular car. It was fine at speed, it was quiet, there wasn't a bunch of uh, 
noise back here at the back, which sometimes you'll get with a hatchback or an SUV. So, uh, no, this was a great little hookup. What I like about it is everything's loaded. I've, I've driven just about everything that we have or pulled everything, all of our equipment. But in this case, everything is, uh, is loaded with some sort of weight and uh, uh, as a customer would experience it. So that's been a great experience. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of, uh, <laughs> of hitching or of uh, pull or anything like that. It feels very comfortable and I don't think customers would be uh, feeling that like they're inconvenienced or getting tired because of the ride. I think they're, they're really experiencing a good thing with our equipment and with their vehicles. No, the equipment's been great. Like I said, I've had zero problems so far. The truck did a very good job of modulating and using the power appropriately and it was, you know, a mile or something of the steepest part of the grade. The truck went right up the hill. You know, we've definitely seen some uh, really interesting terrain. The uphill-downhill combinations with curves have been, uh, I think, a perfect way to kind of showcase some of the uh, weaknesses and strengths of these various combinations. More so than I expected. It's, you know, a little nerve-wracking, especially up the big hills with the semis, but they can handle it. Handling has been very good on all the vehicles. Uh, the power was a surprise in the RAV4, the lack of power. I've never been on this road before. No, me neither. This is kind of interesting. <laughs> well, besides my driving skill is ordering a two to three, I'm very comfortable in this vehicle. On a scale of three, then, right? On a scale of three. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, you're killing it. Um, I learned that the TT is not so scary to drive. I was a little intimidated at first. Yeah. The cars have all been pretty, pretty easy, not too bad. I think the route is pretty cool and diverse as far as terrain. The TT had the best visibility, handling, and kind of prideful, you know, it's, it's, our, it's our product on product. You know, when you're going up hills and down hills, you have to be a little bit more patient and uh, apply some driving skills so that um, you have your best experience when you're, when you're towing the trailer. So that last leg was a little hairy with the weather, but it's nice being a passenger because you just have to sit back and hope your driver hangs on. You did it! <laughs> I can appreciate the customers and what they're saying, but overall it was a smooth ride. What we're going to do is we're going to go all the way uh, south. Awesome. Phew, we made it. Great job. And if I say so, I think we hit it out of the park. Well, it's Monday, uh, the week after our uh, three days of uh, ride trips last week. And I have to say, I'm just extremely pleased. Uh, things went very well. We had little interesting things happen uh, over the three days, but they were all good. We had some road closures, some weather issues, uh, a minor vehicle issue, but we all learned a lot. I think the cars did extremely well, and it reinforced what we were hoping for. We wanted to validate that our, our tow hookup guide procedure is a good one, and I think all the cars really, uh, really showed that. We had uh, some fun, I believe it was Wednesday, went through some soft sand and got stuck and actually wound up sort of being the highlight. Everybody now has something to talk about. The smaller vehicles uh, did extremely well. I, I knew that they may struggle a bit with, uh, with the uh, trailers we had behind them, but they didn't. Uh, they performed very well. They handled great. I expected some issues and we really didn't. We discovered something uh, on our final leg on Friday. It was probably the hottest day of the trip. 
and uh, we were on a, a relatively long uh, climb on the, we call it the Beeline Highway out of Payson, and we had some transmission fluid uh, coming out of the vent of the transmission causing quite a bit of smoke. We discovered today that uh, there's been an issue of uh, people overfilling the transmission, and uh, I'm, I'm still not 100%. Uh, I don't have total closure on that yet. This was a new truck, and our truck people tell us that there's a bolt on, on that. So I want to make sure that our assembly plants are aware of that, because at some point, I think, somebody topped off the transmission, and uh, it was a little high. So. At least it's it's not a, a major design flaw. It's somewhere in our process that I uh, have to follow up on to make sure that there's some closure. But that's the kind of stuff we're looking for. So I think uh, the fact that we experienced it was probably a good thing. We really worked those vehicles over. We had them loaded to the maximum hitch capacities. Uh, we had some 10% grades and 100 degree temperatures. and. Uh, yeah, you know, we had no problems. But of course, we got to remove all our equipment again and uh, return the vehicles to their <laughs> rightful owners and so on. We have to go through the vehicle book comments, see if there are any follow-up items that we uh, want to do, and then probably send out a, a final report to all the participants. So the work's not over yet. We're just taking a deep breath and uh, catching up for a moment. It's something we're going to probably talk about for quite a while. Should we do a thumbs up? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, at any at any time, can you guys go way ahead? Do you remember the cows that Bob was talking about? <laughs> those are up in the uh, past uh, Glo or Miami. They're up in Globe. Can you go get those? <laughs> All of them. I'm encouraged and excited to test that out and kind of excited to report back to see if what I'm hearing is true. So Here we are at Jake's <laughs> Corners. Uh, be tempting to have a cold beer, but unfortunately oh, we can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. I'm going to use that as a okay. for this. Yeah, so. exactly. but, uh, I was going to talk like that. <laughs> everybody, everybody looks like they're having a good Shannon time. Shannon so. brought, me, brought me a present. Nice. <laughs> awesome, Dave.